Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, welcome. Listen, tell a friend, like, share, love, subscribe. If you are feeling the vibe, nine times out of 10, spirit guided you here for a reason. Whatever that reason is, I hope that you are grounded, tapped in, going within talking to and or conversing and having a full-blown serious meeting with your higher self so that you will know what it is that you need to know by way of discernment, right? Usually, you know, we hear information and we wonder, well, is this my story? It's so important that you discern. If it does not apply, let it fly, okay? A Capricorn could come up as a Sagittarius or a Taurus could come up as a Virgo. Maybe the story resonates, but you're like, no, they're not a Taurus. They're not a Virgo. Maybe they have that somewhere highly aspected in their chart. But by way of ascension in 2024, <laughs> standing on spiritual business, if you are a mother freaking spiritual G in these ethereal spiritual streets, you're going to embody all the zodiacs, all the signs and all the elements. Spirit says, let's get into it. Let's get to the spiritual work. Listen. If you're returning back to my channel, back, 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 back to my channel. Listen, I appreciate you. I love you. You are my beautiful, amazing soul tribe. <laughs> I love you. Okay, Northern, Northern, North Node, standing in your power, standing in your power, North Node, okay? You're resolving some issues, standing in your power, transforming, transmuting, I just heard, anything that needs to be transformed and transmuted, baby, somebody's got something going on with something illegal, insurance policy, home policy, travel. Mm, sorry, I had to get a sip of my beautiful, wonderful, blended spirulina smoothie here, okay? So listen, somebody did something that's causing them some type of liability, okay? This could be a liability to their home, their health, Okay, something about being cautious when you travel. Okay, something about auto insurance. Somebody could have gotten to some type of like fender bender and they didn't have no insurance, health insurance, life insurance, um, car insurance. I'm hearing who is this person? Clarify you're in your north node, you're standing in your power. Okay, so you could have evaded some type of unforeseen accident i just heard standing in your north node your power your intuition travel auto home liability somebody's really going through it okay clarify this energy archangel michael creator of all things source of all things thank you for this connection to source and or let me use my gift to help whoever needs to hear this there's a queen of wands that's really going through it aries leo sagittarius this could be a witch Okay, they could be from up north. Maybe that's what northern means. Northern state, up north, okay, down south. Let's just say you're in California. Maybe they're from up north. Maybe you're down south in Southern California. Take what resonates. Depending on where you are, they're up north, okay? Queen of Wands in the reverse is somebody that's just jealous. They're going through something though. Clarify this in this energy. What is this? Something about a traveling liability. Somebody could have gotten into a fender bender, okay, or lost their car. I see a tow truck here. I see somebody that is traveling on a bike, and maybe they something happened with the car. Okay. Trying to take you out. <laughs> Somebody's mad as hell. This shit failed. Wherever this is, they were trying to come towards you. They could have gotten into some type of an accident on the way to see you. The hangman represents something being stuck. Okay. Queen of Wands in the reverse. The hangman. Piscean energy. Water sign energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Air sign. Yeah, somebody was trying to fight you or stop you. 
Somebody was trying to cause you a liability. Clarify, who is this person with these issues? With those issues, who is this person? They got an issue with you, okay? Yeah, somebody was trying to like come and see you, was on the way to see you. Like fast action. Somebody's moving real fast with that Knight of Swords air energy. Um, something about transition, moving, uh, movement, either by plane, train, bike, automobile, whatever this was. Somebody was coming towards you and it failed. Okay, you could live up north. Maybe they were traveling up north. Take what resonates. Okay, or they're coming from up north to travel. Whatever this was, clarify this. What type of liability? What's the traveling liability? <laughs> what happened on the way? Yeah, look, this astral projection. So somebody was, because I'm getting insurance on this card, travel, liability, health. Somebody could have been astral projecting is what I'm getting with the illusion, seven of cups, Scorpio energy, confusion, projecting some type of an illusion onto you. You step back so that you could see things in perspective. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you're in your north node, powerful. Yeah, somebody could have been astral projecting over you. Okay, because I'm getting travel, but I'm getting astral realm. Somebody could have actually tried to see you in the 3D. Clarify this energy. Who is this person? Liability. Who is this queen of wands? Yeah, look, they've been exposed. Somebody got that ass whooped in the ethers by like an angel or a deity or something. Somebody opened up a realm. Somebody's spirit left their body, tried to astral project over you, and they got caught all the way up. Seven of Swords, they've been exposed. Ooh, we, they don't like being exposed. Somebody really thought they were cloaked, okay? They're in spiritual court. Spirit says they have to come clean. Even if they don't, they're going to need to rethink whatever this approach is, this deception. They've been redirected, okay? I just heard they were only lying to themselves. Yeah, thought they were keeping secrets from you, creating some type of an illusion. You can see right through it. You took a step back. You can see. Yeah, somebody can see intuitively. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. Mm -mm. Who is this person? Seven in the swords? Seven in the swords, child. Seven in the swords? <laughs> Somebody got seven in the swords. What the hell is the seven in the swords? Show me this person who was astral projecting and got that ass waxed by source or some type of spirit or something. Mm-mm, honey. Mm-mm. Page of Pentacles. Strength. Somebody didn't want you to see opportunities in front of you. So they were astral projecting over you or projecting some type of delusions over you so that you would make a good decision about something that's about to bring you money. Period. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. You could be a Capricorn. They could be a Capricorn. Maybe you got a Capricorn somewhere in your north node, your south node, up the nose with the rubber hose. Listen, Leo energy. Okay. Whoever this person is, they really believe that they could overpower you. Clarify this person, please and thank you travel liability their health could be suffering from trying to astral project over you it's like somebody's trying to recover their losses like they lost a part of themselves damn don't be astral projecting over nobody look all that work for nothing <laughs> all i just heard all their work fell down all that bad work Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody did something and put a lot of work into it for nothing. Misdirected. Somebody's got to redirect their attention and take it off of you because life could really be like something's happening here. I just heard home repair, car repair. Somebody's like getting a whole bunch of shit happening to them. Because it's something they were trying to project onto you for you to lose. I just heard busted pipe. Somebody could be suffering from something in their house or extra cost, extra liabilities. Somebody don't have no life insurance, travel insurance, homeowners insurance. Something is catching somebody's ass off guard. Somebody was too busy trying to come for you. Temperance in the reverse. Okay. It's like a fall from grace, dark, dark energy, imbalanced mentally, excessive, obsessively, perfectionism, 
and having to do something over and over. I know, I know this is going to work. Like they just kept astral projecting and somebody got their ass whooped. Somebody's addicted to doing this. Somebody could be suffering with addictions, temperance and the seven of cups. Something in excess. Somebody goes to the extreme. And then when the shit backfires, they can't take it. Clarify this energy, please. And thank you. What's going on here? Traveling liability. Who is that? Who is this? Yeah, look. Somebody that you considered as a friend. Okay. Whatever this is. Water sign energy. Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Heavy on the Scorpio energy with the Seven of Cups. Okay. And the Knight of Cups. Who is this Queen of Wands? This Leo energy. Who is that? Who is that Queen of Wands? The Emperor. Aries energy. It's a shapeshifter. Somebody could be shapeshifting um, between their feminine energy and masculine energy. Whatever this is so that you don't see them. Pisces. This person's been coming up a lot. So you got a fake ass friend. It's just crazy. They got something to prove. Somebody really was like, like dead set on proving something. That they could take you down, that they could um, have you not make the right decision. Somebody really wants really badly for you to make a bad decision. Yeah, these are illusions. These are cycles. These are cold, like cold uh, cases, I was going to say. Closed cases. Cold cases and, cl and closed cases from the past. So somebody just plays with the gates, plays with the doors, plays with illusions so that you... You know, believe that something's happening to you again. Maybe trying to keep you in trauma. It doesn't work. Something about your childhood. Page of Cups is Piscean energy. Clarify this energy. The liability as you're projecting. Yeah, look. They're projecting death onto you too. Something about preventing your awakening. Preventing your ascension. Somebody, this is the purpose for the trip. Meaning just like you get on a plane, a bus, a train, somebody was like, okay, I'm astral projected tonight. You know, I'm going to be hovering over this person and I'm taking all their energy. I'm going to project it. Da, 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 da. Okay. Well, the shit did not work. The sun is in the reverse. Somebody's not happy with the decision that they made. They're actually quite depressed, sad, consumed, uh, angry, mad, a lot of fire energy. Somebody's body could actually be getting hot. Scorpionic energy, you transmuted some type of death. Okay. They could have also been doing this over your child as well. Clarify, please, and thank you. Yeah, I can't make it up. Somebody was astral projected and caught a tower. Can you imagine being outside of your body spiritually and you're catching a tower? You got a whole deity that got you bound to the astral realm and you're immediately in spiritual court in the astral body while the physical body is suffering below. Okay, well, that's what you get. Quit traveling over people that you ain't got no business. Okay. I can't make it up. Somebody landed on their own sword. Somebody wanted you to bottom out, wanted you to give up, wanted you to give up on life, feel bad, feel sad. Clarify, please, and thank you. Yeah, weirdo. Yeah. You're too protected. You stood your ground. I don't know if you realize this, but in the astral realm, you was whooping this person's ass. Somebody wanted a battle, and they absolutely did get a battle. You're very, very protected. Somebody has a lot of fire in their chart, Okay. You could, be, you could be a fire sign. They have a lot of fire in their chart. Fire and water. Somebody's psychic, intuitive. Queen of Wands is a dark-ass witch, though. Okay? Yeah, you stood your ground. You whooped somebody's ass in the dream state. If you got up and you were tired, it was this person. If you got up, you whooped somebody's ass in the dream state. Somebody landed on every single sword that they tried to put in your back. It's like somebody trying to do some type of Jedi mind trick. Mind control is what I'm getting. Projection, mind control with the, with the Seven of Cups, illusions. And with the tower, you broke free. You eliminated all of this just by like literally seeing it for what it is. You invoked a tower. Look, I can't make it up. The high priestess. You're intuitive, queen of cups, psychic. People love you. You love yourself. Something about you loving yourself is why you were able to transmute this energy and you whoop somebody's ass. Look at this. Normally, this is you. 
I mean, normally this is them standing up to you as you're walking away. Now this is you. <laughs> you're like, yeah, bitch, come, come do it again. <laughs> They're walking away. Their swords are on the ground. They bottomed out. It can't get any worse than this. It can if they don't know how to sit their punk ass down. It can. Somebody's resisting the inevitable. Resisting the fact that they've landed on their own sword. They hate the fact that you figured them out. Clarify this energy. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Show us what we need to see. Yeah, they're watching and spying. So they got some type of monitoring energy on you or they did. They're very curious. They're trying to see how do you know. Look, you know. You are the real high priestess. They could be doing some type of divination or something like that. This person thought that they were cloaked with the sun and the reverse. No, they're not. It was exposed. The sun and the reverse is like now they're in the dark about what they need to know about you. So now somebody's under their own illusion. The same illusions that they were astral projecting and trying to put over you, they're now under. Somebody could be seeing things that aren't real. Whoever this person is. The universe is saying they're having to eat their own delusional energy. Like they're under attack from their own energy. You are the high priestess. Who is this person? Liability. Health liability. What's going on with the health issues? Show us the health in auto. Yeah. Mental health. Somebody's losing their shit. I can't even make this up. I can't make it up. Health issues. Did I not just say four swords? Somebody is like losing it. They're in their head about it. Mentally ill. Trying to astral project. Winning at all costs. Like not knowing when to stop. Look, addicted. Addictions. Addicted to trying to take you down. Somebody could actually have real addictions. Okay. Like a drug addict. But they're functional. You got a couple of people that tried to astral project over you. They teamed up. They sure did. They teamed up. There's an Aquarius, Libra, and or a Gemini that also tried to do this too. Heavy on the Gemini and or the Aquarius energy. Somebody can be an Aquarius, Capricorn energy. Just take what resonates. Let's just leave the signs out of it. Let's just read it energetically. Somebody's ass is obsessed. They're in their head about it. They can't sleep in the day and the night. They thought they were smarter than you. Somebody was projecting onto you. Hmm. Hmm. They're getting some type of news about their health. Somebody could be maybe seeking mental health help. This is all witchcraft. My thing is this, when you go in for the behavioral health intake, do you tell them that you're doing witchcraft? <laughs> do you tell them, oh, well, this is backfiring energy because I'm stupid and I need help? Yeah, look, while you're trying to balance this shit out, trying to go get help now, somebody's seeking some type of professional help. Something happened with somebody astral projecting to their body. What the hell did they do? Trying to astral project over you. Somebody could be sleeping all day to try to build up their energy for the night. Somebody is literally one and all no energy. No gas. They're rolling on fumes. Okay. Somebody wanted you to be in some type of an accident. To have some type of health issue. Something that you, yeah, somebody's like, mm-mm. Somebody wanted you in a state of confusion. Clarify this energy, please. And thank you. This person that's astral projecting or was astral projecting. I don't know if they're going to try after this. A Taurus. Okay. You could be a Taurus. They could be a Taurus. I just heard they are a Taurus. Taurus energy. Clarify this Taurus. What's going on? Who's astral projecting? You're totally unbothered and disconnected. These people are starved from your light and your healing. 
They want your healing abilities, your healing capabilities. So these people are, are trying to get your attention, okay? People like, there could be up to three witches. They want to know your birthday, your birth chart. They looked into it. Somebody has your birthday? No, they don't. Okay, well, they're trying to get it, and they want to know what your uh what your destiny is. Okay, they could be seeking to find out what your astrological sign is or just your date of birth. Let's just see what's going on with these people. You escaped a dark warlock and everybody knows it. Okay, Taurus energy. Damn, this is crazy. So they were trying to astro project. Somebody's absolutely from the East Coast. New Jersey, New York, New York area. That's been coming up a lot. So whatever this person tried to do, I just heard they're losing and they're not taking the loss so well. Somebody's very competitive. Very like, you know, obsessive in the sense that they're not going to stop until they take you down type of an energy. Okay. Somebody's not going to stop. But I don't know if they have a choice at this point. Judgment. Somebody's ass is getting whooped. Like real bad. Like real bad in the morning, the day, the noon, and the night. Somebody's like... Somebody's whole life is astral projecting at night. They're weighed down. Somebody is not going to make it, y'all. Whatever this is. Okay? The goal was to weigh you down. The goal was to have you looking crazy. The goal was to have you let down your guard. Yeah, Spirit says yes. I just heard what they want, they can't have. What they want, they can't touch. Damn. Mm-mm. You got somebody from your past that wants you, okay, that's coming in to make you an offer. Could be a King of Cups. Could be a Scorpio in November or Sagittarius in November. Eight of Swords. Yeah, there, somebody's mad about this. I don't know what the connection is to somebody from your past. Show me this Queen of Wands. Clarify this Queen of Wands, please, and thank you. They're working with the Taurus, okay? Yeah, they wanted to dominate you. Somebody wanted to control you. So whoever this um, Queen of Wands is, could be a Leo, could be a Aries, Pisces, Pisces, Aries, whatever this is, could be a feminine, could be a masculine, doesn't matter. They wanted to dominate you, overpower you. Somebody just is like gung-ho, dead set on overpowering you. I just heard they want to overpower you, but they can't control themselves. Ooh, make it make sense. Abuse of power, lack of discipline. I keep saying, listen, did the Ten of Swords, somebody landed on their own sword. Did the Ten of Swords not come out in the reverse? Listen, whatever somebody tried to do to you, it immediately happened to them. And they're going to try it again. It's going to happen again until somebody takes themselves out, literally. Okay? So whoever this Taurus is, this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, they're going broke. They're not grounded. They're actually slightly psychotic. They're losing it. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is a dark ass witch. So you got a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's birthday could be Yeah, you got a Taurus. This is a Taurus. Mhm. Mm Lack of control. They could be just spazzing out all over the place, confused. Like, it's a lot going on with this person. Self-centered, very jealous, whoever this Taurus is. Shout out to the high vibrational Tauruses. Yeah, Page of Wands. Somebody feels like um, they're behind, okay? They were so focused on you that they're behind. They're behind. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Oh, okay. They're behind. And whatever it is that they need to get done in life. Somebody's losing money too. Trying to take you down. This is somebody that you celebrated with, a friend. They're not your friend. You know that though. I guess that was supposed to be the element of surprise. That was supposed to be devastating. Like, oh my God, you're not my friend. You knew this. You could have just cut this person off. You could have just said, okay, that's what it is. Now all that energy has gone back to sender or somebody don't know how to 
astral project, something hurt somebody to do physically. Disloyalty, rejection, betrayal, overindulgence. Somebody's overindulging. Somebody is losing it, going crazy. You got a dark ass warlock here that you escape. You got a weird ass Taurus Virgo Capricorn, heavy on the Taurus energy, weird old witch, another Queen of Wands witch. They all looking dumb as shit. You also got a Queen of Swords that could have been working with them. Aquarius. Don't necessarily have to be. Just dark ass people. Let's just take what's resonating. Yeah, they absolutely did black magic over you. Or so they thought. Trickster energy. Paint some type of an illusion. That's basically it. While under the influence, I just heard. Somebody's watching you recover from some type of poverty that they put you in. So if you were having issues with your money or it seemed to kind of slow down a little bit, somebody was projecting that onto you so that you couldn't get to your bag. <laughs> okay. Okay. Show me North Node. Like what? Yeah. You separated from these people. They're mad. They're heartbroken that you're standing in your power, that you know what they did. Clarify this energy, please. And thank you. What's going on with these people? Yeah, it's the King of Wands here somewhere. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, King of Cups. Okay, remember I said somebody could be a November Sagittarius. Somebody's coming in to show you some love. And if they're not, they're a very fiery, passionate king with a lot of love for you. Okay, somebody's jealous about that. If they're not a fire sign or a water sign, take what resonates. Page of Pentacles. There's some type of earth angel child coming through. Somebody's birthday could also be in December. Page of Pentacles. There's a child here. This could be your child's father. Or somebody that you're meant to have a child with. Yeah, listen, Ten of Cups. I can't make it up. I can't make this up. There's a child. You could be pregnant by this person. Yeah, there's outside uh, forces, people that didn't want you two to be together. I feel like you're already in connection with this person. Yeah. Somebody's mad because this person came in to offer you some type of connection. Four of Cups, they're disappointed. Who is this person? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Whoever this Queen of Swords is. Mm -hmm. Clarify the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Who's this person? Clarify the Nine of Cups, Four of Cups, and the, the Knight of Cups. Five of Swords. Yeah, there was outside influences. Somebody really wanted your person like that. They just didn't want to see you with this person. Queen of Swords to the Nine of Cups. Somebody was really prided on their work. Like, oh, I'm going to stop this. Part. Like, why do people do that? Why? I don't know. I'm just asking the question. It's rhetorical. But somebody is like... You know, their wish was for somebody not to come towards you. Now they're saying that they can't stop it. They're just wasting their life. Look, they're going to do it again. They ain't got nothing else to do. Somebody's saying they ain't got nothing to lose. Somebody knows that death and poverty is coming to them and sickness, mental health. They're going crazy, a little batshit crazy. And they got some serious addictions too, okay? Somebody knows this. They don't have anything to lose. So are they going to do it again? Yes. Because... <laughs> I don't know. Seems like a death wish this person has or these people. Okay. I feel like it's a number of people. Yeah, the lovers. They hate it. Two people that are destined to be together. Clarify the lovers. Gemini energy. Something about Mercury retrograde. Past life, soul contracts, soul mates, two lovers. Traveling through time, timelines and destinies. Destined to be together. And somebody don't like it. Clarify the energy, please. And thank you. Look, whatever this is, you stood up for yourself. Somebody was waging war on you. They are just mad. Clarify the, um, yeah, look. All because somebody's taking a leap of faith with you or you're just taking a leap of faith in life. Something about you being confident. You know, new beginnings, curiosity. Something about a new path in life. And they're mad. Somebody found out that you're having a baby with somebody and they are losing it. Clarify, who is this person in this anxiety, in this, in this uh, four of swords? Somebody's not doing good, okay? Let's just start there. Who is this person? The person's in anxiety because you're moving forward or somebody's coming towards you and they're mad about it. Four of wands, this is you moving toward, towards, forward. <laughs> towards a new beginning okay and there's some type of communication coming in from a lover hold on y'all
I'm almost done. Take those shoes off, please. I just mopped my floor. Thank you. Okay. So listen, y'all. Somebody is really like crazy. This person is a danger to themselves, y'all. They could be getting admitted. Somebody could be trying to take something. Somebody could be going into a rehab. Somebody's crazy. They did this to themselves, though. They labeled themselves crazy all by themselves. Okay. I don't know. Whatever this is, there's some type of communication coming through. You're going to have a new beginning. You're connecting either with somebody that you're meant to be with, a lover. They know that this is coming. So they could be projecting this onto the both of you, okay, to try to stop you from this new beginning. But it's going to happen. And you're going to have a child with somebody. I can't make it up. The Empress. Somebody is pregnant or will be. Clarify this energy, please. And thank you. The Nine of Swords or this person. Okay, somebody's walking away. So you got a fire sign from the past that's walking away from a new king of wands that wants to be with you or something like that. You either got a fire sign, water sign. Somebody's coming in. It's a divine masculine, okay? Somebody from your past was trying to stop that, block that. They're coming up as somebody that just want to come in and have sex or you just wanted to have sex with them or whatever this is. When I say you, I mean in like a karmic feminine. Let's be clear. You could be a karmic feminine that's a knight of wands that wanted to have sex with this person, trap this person. The shit ain't working out. Whatever this is, somebody's abandoning the situation. It's just not working. Two of swords. Somebody had a choice possibly between two people and they're walking away from one of these offers. Somebody's working real hard to try to stop somebody. Yeah, look, I cannot make it up. Can't make it up. Did I not just tell you they're in the nine of swords? Somebody's having mental health issues, delusional uh they just won't stop y'all they won't stop somebody needs to go get some help somebody could also really be sick whatever this astral projection was whatever this black magic is that they did they're sick from it seven of wands you stood your ground you're too protected you and your lover okay whatever they got going on is absolutely a liability let's just get a couple of more cards and then i'm gonna come back with a few more readings because i got time today clarify this uh energy what's going on with these people Show us who they are. What's going on? Let's just expose it here in spiritual court. Let's do it. Let's do it, angels. The karmic is driving them crazy. So somebody could feel bound to a karmic, okay? Your karmic ex could feel bound to a karmic, but you're going towards a divine partnership. That's perfect. I feel like everybody's with who they need to be with, right? If your karmic ex is with a karmic, that's who they need to be with. Maybe the universe is making them stay together. So that they can learn their lesson. So they both could be in the nine of swords energy. Going crazy over the fact that you ain't going crazy. Over the fact that they're going crazy. Yeah. Somebody's a catfisher too. Okay. People catfish for energy. They catfish for money. Scammer. Illegal collaboration. Somebody tried to get your money. Okay. New Orleans, Louisiana could be real significant. You could be from New Orleans, Louisiana. They could be from New Orleans, Louisiana. Somebody's down there doing... um. Some type of spiritual work. Somebody's also gender confused. I feel like there's a karmic feminine that's obsessed over you. Yeah, like in a weird way, but you're not, you know, LGBTQ or whatever. You're right. You're like, nah, I'm strictly dickly. I'm just saying this, this is what the universe is saying. Somebody saying that the confusion spell is not working. Well, when did they figure that out? I wonder if they were confused when they realized that the confusion spell was not working. <laughs> Florida is real significant. Florida and Louisiana keeps coming up heavy. Somebody's trying to move forward. Somebody's searching for help. Listen, somebody could be from Florida. Somebody could have fled to Florida. Somebody could be leaving Florida, going from New Orleans to Louisiana to Florida or something. But that's real significant. You scare the hell out of these people, okay? Their spell work is keeps backfiring and they just keep trying. Somebody took a hell of a chance. Somebody could have found somebody new to try to astro project over you. And the shit backfires. Somebody's going through health issues from trying to astral project, okay? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Somebody is not okay, okay? You know, you know how they say, he needs some milk. No, they need more than some milk. Somebody needs a whole full-blown exorcism. Look, 
whatever this was that somebody conjured up or whatever they thought they were seeing, I'm getting somebody was very delusional. Whoever the karmic is, they're very delusional. <laughs> You know, and your ex karmic has been around them so long that their delusions have just become contagious. They're both delusional, right? About you, like what? Mm -mm. Heavy on the addictions, heavy on these addiction energies or whatever this is. Somebody is like, yeah, addicted to watching you, addicted to stopping you, addicted to trying to stop you, addicted to astral projection, even though it's affecting their health. Again, you got to be mindful when you ask to project, you got to be careful. Some of these people are bringing back dark entities and dark energies because they're traveling, you know, in a dark energy. They are the dark energy that's traveling. Look, Queen of Wands in the reverse is like the most wickedest witch on the planet. Evil. Mm -mm. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead, I just heard. Well, listen, this is the download, the upload, go within and call a friend or whatever you got to do. But this is it. I love y'all so much. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.